today on Be Something Wonderful, loosening your belief in linear time and living in the end. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, welcome back. It was a big day today, and I want to talk about a session I had with a new client that said, you know, Tom, th this client's really excited about Neville Got It, about Dr. Joe Dispenza, about all the spiritual greats, about reality creation. And he said, you know, Tom, there's so much I want to talk about. There's so much I want to do. There's so much I want to change. And so many beliefs I want to let go of. In other words, so many limiting beliefs that I want to let go of. I don't know where to start. And I said, well, uh, the, the best place to start is the biggest limiting belief at all that really once you drop this limiting belief, all other limiting beliefs start falling to the side, start falling underneath this is your belief in linear time, right? Because that, it's our belief in linear time that keeps us from assuming and living in the end of what we, are, what we want. Keeps us from assuming that we already are the person we want to be, that we already have that which we want. Do you hear this? It's that belief. And so, so Tom, where do I begin? In fact, begin at the end and stay there. You've heard me talk about this often. There's so many things I want to change, so many limiting beliefs I need to let go of. So start with loosening your belief in linear time. That's what we talked about. That this idea that it goes in an arrow from the past to the present to the future. We know now that everything's happening at the same time. It's all simultaneous, right? It, it's, a, it's this idea, this belief that, that things progress from the past to the present to the future, that the past causes the present, that the present causes the future. We know now that it's all happening at the same time, that you can move anywhere in creation on any timeline, that infinite timelines exist, infinite alternative realities exist right now, and that you can move anywhere in creation and experience that right now through your imagination. This is really what Neville Goddard talks about in all the spiritual greats. The law of assumption and beginning at the end make linear time irrelevant. Do you see this? Remember, God creates deductively. God decides it and becomes it immediately, right? You, you can assume what you want to be, move to that end, and it makes linear time irrelevant right? All other limiting beliefs collapse when you move into the present moment. Do you see this? All other limiting beliefs collapse when you, when you work from that present moment, from the only moment there is, right? There's only one moment in creation, and that moment's an eternal moment, and you can move anywhere in creation. We talked about this idea that instead of a river, where you're in a river and you're moving from the past to the present to the future, it's like a lake of infinity, and you're in the center of it all. And it, whatever you think, feel, and believe sends out ripples in this lake of timelines, of alternative realities. You're, you're, you're a reality generator. And according to what you're thinking, feeling, believing, that's the lifeline or the, or the film role or the script that you land on. And it changes in every moment as you change within. This is powerful. So when you assume you're already the version of yourself you desire to be and feel gratitude and rest in fulfillment, you collapse time and space and you make linear time irrelevant. Hear this. This is the power of the, of the present moment. This is the power of the law of assumption. When you assume you're already the version of yourself you desire, or in other words, you assume that you're already living that reality that you desire to live, and feel the gratitude right now and rest in that fulfillment. You collapse time and space and you make it linear time irrelevant. You exclude the middle where doubt and fear appears and make them irrelevant. This is, this is a couple videos that I've talked about, about the, the secret, the secret, the, the secret of the ancients of excluding the middle. The ancient secret of the excluded middle. Well, that's where fear and doubt come in. It's in the middle, right? It makes it, it, makes it all irrelevant 
when you move to the end, when you rest in that gratitude, when you rest in the knowing that you can go anywhere within your imagination, that it's all in your mind anyway, and you can go anywhere in, in this creation, creation's finished, and live that reality right now, right? You stop fragmenting yourself into thoughts, into feelings, into limiting assumptions and beliefs, and then you unite or become whole around your assumption of wish fulfilled and feeling of gratitude and fulfillment and conviction. Hear this, right? We fragment ourselves with linear time. We fragment our thoughts, we fragment our feelings, and, and we, feel, we feel separate and alone, right? And, and so when you, when you assume what you want, when you move to that version, when you feel that gratitude and you feel that fulfillment now, you exclude the middle where doubt and fear and all these mixed emotions and feelings can come in. And you stop fragmenting yourself. You stop fragmenting your thoughts, your feelings, and your assumptions and beliefs, and you unite it all and become one united whole around your assumption of wish fulfilled and the feeling of gratitude and fulfillment and that conviction. Wow, that's powerful. So you can't think, imagine, assume, and believe in, or believe anything, belief, or believe anything in the past or the future. It's all happening right now. That's why there is no past and future. You don't think, imagine, assume, or believe anything in the past or anything in the future. It's all happening in this now moment. And that thought, that image, hear this, that assumption and belief is a thing in this moment. In that moment you think it, in the moment you imagine it, the moment that you assume it and believe it, it's a thing. It's an invisible thing, but it's a thing. It's, it's created. It's a mold. It's a metaphysical mold that exists right now. That source, the, the 3D manifestation, is merely a reflection and projection of what's already yours. That's all. It's, a, it's created when you think of it, when you imagine it, when you assume it and believe it, it's created. Whether you see it with your physical eyes is not, the, is not the big deal. The big deal is you're creating it on the other side, right? But then as you, as you continue to focus on it, as you can continue to put your attention on it, then it becomes that reflection then coalesces and becomes a projection in 3D reality. But it's already yours in the imagining of it, in the assuming, in the believing of it. As you persist in recognizing the existence of these invisible forms, these invisible molds, they project themselves in 3D reality and take physical form in time and space. That's how it works. And when does it happen? It happens all in that now moment. Right? When you, start, when you stop dropping the idea that, 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 things, that things take time. It's about intensity, not time. It's about the intensity of your thought, the intensity of the image, the intensity of the assumption, the intensity of belief. That's how it coalesces. That's how it forms in physical 3D reality. But it is formed when you think of it. And according to the intensity is whether you'll see it in 3D reality or not, but it's a reality already. It's an invisible reality. And whether it becomes visible doesn't depend on time. Depends on intensity. Wow, that's big. So remember, you are a child of God or source or all that is. And as, a, as an heir of source, you inherit the kingdom. In other words, first cause. You, in, you, are, a, a, you are an heir to first cause. You, you inherit first cause. You, you are endowed not only with the same power, but all power. So you're made in the image of source. What does that mean? That means you inherit first cause. You are, that power is flowing through you. It is the Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. That's what Luke 12, 32, that's what, that's, that's what that parable meant, what Jesus was talking about, all of it. Right? That's what Jesus meant. That's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Luke 12, 32. Son, you have always been with me, and all that is mine is yours. This is the prodigal son. And what does that mean? All that is mine. All that creative power. All power that's mine is yours. Do you hear that? You inherit it all. 
That's what it means to inherit the, to inherit the kingdom. That's what it means to be, to, to be the son of God, right? The, there's only one substance or energy or source, and it only works deductively, right, by you, by you claiming it, through you and by you, by you claiming it. That one source, you've got to, it's yours, but you've got to claim it. You inherited it, but you've got to claim it. You got to claim it where? Within. When? In the now moment. It's the only moment. And it's yours now. That's big. So a belief in linear time is a belief in separation from source. A belief in separation from source implies you're separated from what you desire. All fear and all negative emotion arises from that feeling of separation, from that thought of separation, from that assumption from, of separation, from that belief in linear time. That's where all that negative emotion comes from. Linear time creates the illusion of cause and effect relationships between events in our lives and the emotions we experience. Where the fear and joy is already there calling forth witnesses in the physical world of form or experiences that reinforces the already existing feeling of unity or separation. Do you hear that? That, 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 that experience of, of fear and joy, it's already there. Whatever drama or trauma or joy or excitement that you're, that you're experiencing in form of 3D reality is already there in, the, in, the, in fear or joy within you, right? Either you're experiencing separation and fear, and so that gets projected out in 3D reality, and you have some trauma or drama in your life, but that fear was already there. Or you're feeling the joy and the excitement of being one with source, and you're seeing that play out in 3D reality in forms of experiences in the, in the physical reality of form. Do you see it? It's already there. Linear time creates the illusion of cause and effect relationships, but, that, but there's only one cause, and that's within you. And that's either, you're, either that cause is either that you're, you believe you are one with source, one with love, or that you're separate from it. And that's what you'll see in your world, where fear or joy is already there. That fear or joy is already there, calling forth witnesses in the physical world of form, in the form of experiences that reinforces the already existing feeling of unity or separation, of love or fear. It's already there, right? So when you let go of this belief in linear time, you let go of the belief in separation. And now you're working from love. And now you're calling forth experiences of love. That's what you're going to see in the world. So it's not the drama and trauma that creates the, that, that creates the fear and the feelings of, of separation. It's the feeling of separation that creates the drama and trauma. Wow, that's big. And vice, and, and vice versa with love, right? <laughs> right? It's the love that creates that more loving experiences. It's not the loving experiences that creates the love. The love's already there. The fear's already there. So the most powerful teaching of A Course in Miracles is the dismantling of the belief in linear time. This aligns you perfectly with the teachings of Neville Goddard. Creation is finished in the Law of Assumption. Do you see it? They line up perfectly that, that the teachings of the Course in Miracles, when it, when, it, when it dismantles this belief in linear time, right? It lines up with creation is finished, that everything is already there. It's already done. You're just going in your imagination and having that experience of it, right? In the Law of Assumption. Course in Miracles says this, time is a trick, a sleight of hand, a vast illusion in which figures come and go as if by magic. Yet, there's a plan behind appearances. Judge not according to appearances. That's why Jesus said that. There's a plan behind appearances that does not change. The script is written. This is coming from A Course in Miracles. The script is written. Neville got it. Creation is finished. It's the same idea. For we but see the journey 
from the point of which it ended. Looking back on it, imagining, look at the wording here, imagining we, we make it once again and reviewing mentally what has gone before. Let's just look at this for a second. This lines up perfectly with the idea of imagining your wish fulfilled, imagining you are that person that you want to be or have that which you want because it already exists. Creation's finished. There's already an alternative view or an alternative reality with you living it out. You merely have to assume it. This is what A Course in Miracles is saying. The time's a trick. It's a sleight of hand. It's an illusion. It's magic. There's a plan behind all of these appearances that doesn't change. The script's written, right? You're seeing the journey from the end. You're looking back and you're imagining, look at the wording here, imagining we make it once again. You're just imagining you're experiencing it again. Remember, you have the amnesia, right, of this 3D duality. Right? And you're imagining you're taking it again, reviewing it mentally for what has gone by. That's powerful. That lines up perfectly. So then it says here, let me recognize my, this is a Course in Miracles again, let me recognize my problems have been solved. I seem to have problems only because I am misusing time. I believe that the problem comes first and time must elapse elapse before it can be worked out. I do not see the problem and the answer as simultaneous in their occurrence. That is because I do not yet recognize that God has placed the answer together with the problem so that they cannot be separated by time. This comes from A Course in Miracles, right? The problem and solution are together. The cause equals effect. There's nothing separate. It's time that creates all that. Right, linear time, that belief in linear time. Therefore, seek not to change the world, but choose to change your mind about the world. Of course, the miracles. Why? Because creation's finished. All scripts are written. So when you change your mind about the world, then you have an experience of a script that you prefer. Do you see that? And then you're coming from that higher perspective that it's all your imagination, that you get to choose, and that all these scripts are already written that you're looking back on those scripts and re-experiencing it through love now. That's what Course in Miracles is getting at. Change it. Choose through love, right? Change your mind about the world. Choose through love. That's very powerful. So, A Course in Miracles, I need do nothing, right? This is the idea, and this is what the client is saying, I don't know what to do. I don't know where to start. I don't, I, I don't know how to even tackle it. You need do nothing. He, who needs do nothing has no need for time. To do nothing is to rest and make a place within where activity of the body ceases to demand attention. It's, it's equivalent to the Sabbath, right? That, remember, you, that all scripts are written. So you just need to imagine what you want and then rest in that. In other words, it makes no sense to try to change or fix the scripts, the one you're in or any other script right? Those scripts are written. Instead, change your mind about it. This aligns you with love in your imagination. Then you choose what part of creation, or in other words, what script you desire to experience from a feeling of oneness versus a feeling of lack and separation, right? You, you are no longer, now you are in on the illusion, right? Now, you are now, as opposed to part of the illusion, or trapped in the illusion, you're now in on the illusion. You get it. You're making the choice from love, right? You know, you know that all scripts are written. You know that creation's finished. And now you're choosing from a higher vantage point, imagining from that higher you, what part of the 3D world that you want to experience next? What, what experience do you want to have? That's powerful. That all comes from, it all starts from, Simply loosening your grip on linear time. Start to loosen your belief in this idea that linear time's a thing, right? And that comes from, you can, you can do that by imagining your wish fulfilled. You can do that from, I, I do alpha state meditations where I just relax totally in my I am awareness, right? And feel the overwhelming of that goodness within. That's when you really bend time and space, right? That really is loosing your belief in linear time and living in the end. I am your host, Tom Karen. 
This is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for hitting the notification button. Thank you for liking the videos. Thank you for considering joining the other channel, the membership channel. It's certainly not required, but it has extra content and it's a way to support Be Something Wonderful. Thank you for just being here. And um, don't forget, we have a Facebook group. It's called uh, Be Something Wonderful Ambassadors at facebook.com slash groups slash Be Something Wonderful. It's open to you. Anybody can join and um, you can share insights and guidance with others. And also we have uh, Instagram. You can, you can uh, uh, see us there and find us on Instagram at Tom Karen, at Twitter at Tom Karen, or just go to our website anytime at TomKaren.com or BeSomethingWonderful.com where all that information is there and more. With great love, with great light and infinite gratitude, this is Tom, creators, see you soon.